Wow, it costs him a match dart as well. Double 16. Eight. He should have had three match darts. He only got two because that first one at tops was a mile away. Is he finding a way to lose this game? A game where he's been better than his opponent for so much of it. No Steve score. Beaton can't batter his way through to the double two. And Dimitri Vandenberg surely won't miss this opportunity. Not exactly sure what he was doing there. Here we go. This is the old Dimitri. This is the keep calm and don't necessarily carry on straight away, Dimitri. Double 16. He Game finally shot. hits the match. the match dart. Steve Beaton is beaten. A 6-4 victory for Dimitri Vandenberg. He looks so lightly, doesn't he? Whoa, he looks really lightly. It's 180 number four for Vessel Nyman. Hitting him at a pretty decent rate, is Vessel. One hundred and eighty. Well, there's a third for Ryan Meikle. Leaves himself one four five, but it's a one four five. He might need to take out. Oh, he's on a ten darter to win it. What a way to respond after missing three match darts. Ryan Meikle, can he shut the door? Oh, and he did the trouble fifteen. One hundred and thirty-five. Oh, leaves himself on ten. I think he's thrown that. Just for a big score to help the average, because it might not help the result. No or maybe score. it will. The dead cat shot worked again. Game shot. And double five is there as well. It's back. Credit to him. He's not letting frustrations get the better of him. Certainly not in the scoring phase. Despite all the missed darts at double from Vessel Nyman, he's still averaging around about that ton mark. And that's pretty much what he's done 94. so far this year. Mikko leaves himself on a bogey number. Nyman has got time. 7th time lucky. There it is. Vessel Nyman does get over the line. A superb performance from him. Yes, it got edgy on the doubles as he approached the winning line. If you get a dart at double in the leg, you win the leg. That's how it's panned out. 140. Price could be getting darts at double in this leg on the Menzies throw. Oh, it's nailed 42. on from here. Set it up, take it out, 5-3. One hundred and five. That's the setup. Fifty-eight. Game shot. And that's how you take it out. Five three. He trails five three in the one eighty count go in price. 140. But it hasn't mattered because he's fashioned enough opportunities and he's taken them. Four perfect start darts to start the leg on his own throw, looking to close out the match. Good luck dealing with that. He's given it a crack. He's hit 180. four legs running here, Cameron Menzies. And he's only won one of the last three. Ooh. 32. Now then. There might be life in this. 135. Oh, another. The Iceman to win it with a 1-5-2 checkout. 
Menzi stranded on 46 after just nine darts. As Gerwin Price produces a stunning finish to wrap it up by six legs to three. Take a little bit of time for them to get back into the swing of things. Haven't been involved in World Series and Premier League, so competitive darts has been at a premium. 180. Second 180 for Killington gets him to a finish, but Griffin is already on a match-winning shot, and it could be a match-winning shot. 93. Trouble 19. For an improbable 167. Oh, he's been threatening a bullseye finish all game, and now he produces one right at the death, or what looked like the death. To on throw, but Killington's going to leave himself something. Muttering to himself, trying to will the dart into the treble 20, and he cannot do it. Is it curtains for Killington? Oh, great dart. Another 82. match dart goes begging, though. He has missed four now in total, Rhys Griffin. That was for a 12 darter on throw. He couldn't do it again, surely. No, he couldn't. 96. But Griffin has left himself on double seven. He's got a decision to make, straight at it or split it. He could look over to the right-hand side, but I think he's going straight at double seven. Wow, that's a single seven. That's nearly a double three. Ten. It was a mess of a visit. And George Killington is now favourite to win this match. He has survived six match darts, but not by much. Another dart in the one when he went looking for the 18. 78. He tidies it up a little bit to leave 78. Starting on the bullseye. It's a good guide for the bull. But he doesn't get the treble 20 he needed. 88. We've seen six darts missed for the match so far, all from Reese Griffin. George Killington should get his first here. In fact, he'll get two. No mistake on the 18 segment this time. How about double six? 72. It's Killington's turn to miss. Reese Griffin. 47 points. Stand between him and winning a game. He should have already won. But if he doesn't get this, he might lose. Oh, the eighth attempt. Reese Griffin finally wins that match. He survived two match darts at the end. George Killington should never have got him. He played some decent stuff to give himself a chance, but... Forty-one. Mm, Aspinall throwing those like he believes the game is up. Sixty-five. Hempel brings the ball into play, so it leaves a finish that doesn't need a bullseye. Two darts in the treble twenty. He'd leave double eighteen for the match. Nathan Aspinall, there's a bit of fight and grit to apply some pressure. Will it matter? Silent 81. scream of frustration from the former handball player. Doesn't get a match dart in that visit. Treble 18. May not get a match dart at all here, Florian. Oh, Game what a shot. shot. What a shot from Nathan Aspinall. Look. And that brings the game to an end. Florian Hempel, a 6 4 victor. He beats Nathan Aspinall. That 14 data, but he hasn't had a data double since. 18. Well, it looked like it was going to be textbook working his way into the treble there, but he was unable to find double 18. First darts at double since the opening leg for Bartons. 20. And he misses them both. 20. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> well, Michael Smith saw it before the marker. It was in the double 14 when he wanted the double nine. He busts his score and loses the leg. Andy Barton's allowed a way back into this game. 
Barton's 140. just upped it a little bit in the last few legs. Looking a bit more dangerous. Oh, but this is danger for Barton's. 140. 80 left for the match. He was stranded on 76 in the last leg when Barton's took out a finish. Will he be marooned again? 94. No, because Barton's misses tops. Double 10. Is Game there. 15 the darter. Excellent stuff from Michael Smith to close that one out in the end. Andy Barton's was threatening. 85. So an incredible final yesterday between Gary Anderson and Ryan Searle with stratospheric numbers. Well, Chris Doby, 57. the first time he made a PDC final, he played Michael Van Gogh, and he averaged 110. He lost it 6-2. Yeah, he uses the bullseye, gets down to a two-darter. It could be a comfortable break of throw here for Chris Doby. 96. Van Gogh and down to a finish. Double nine. Game shot. Oh, it's comfortable. Hook or by Crook, he's got down to 170 in a really odd leg. 32, 171, 35, 93. 134. Bullseye for a 170. It would have been one of the weirdest legs you've seen particularly with who's throwing it, but he misses the ball. He fortuitously leaves himself on double 18, but it may not matter. Double top for 5-0. Good guide. Expertly used by Chris Doby. Merciless from Doby. Look at this, 180 number two. Could he add 164 to the list of checkouts? Van Gogh needs another treble just to get to a finish. He's got it. And he's deflected out of the 20 bed. He's not even on a finish. This doesn't have to go. The whitewash is on. Ooh, now that is a slip. Leaves 1-2-2. Two, two. One hundred and fifteen. You'll get a match start here. To beat Michael Van Gogh in six nil, double seven. One hundred and eight. Avoids the whitewash for now, but sixty six is awkward. Is he gonna go bull double eight? Is it treble ten? Treble ten for double eighteen. Double nine. Four. Michael Van Gogh and it's been all over the place at times in this game. And he's going to lose by the Game biggest shot, margin possible. Chris Doby, six. Michael Van Gerwen, nil. Hollywood whitewashes Mighty Mike for the second time in his career. Ninety-two. One hundred and forty. Good lag against the darts from Dave Chisnell here. Potential eleven darts up. One hundred and forty. Double eighteen. The tricky switch, as we call it. Oh, too tricky. No Busts his score. All the way back to 87 for Chiz. Now, that could be important. Because even though Peter Wright's not going to take the 145, Dave Chisner is back on 87, 85. and it might only be one dart at bull. Might not even be that. If he misses any big numbers. Not necessarily as good a chance as last time. Well, he does get the 51 to leave 36 again. And it's over to double nine. He won't miss low this time. 69. Peter Wright being gifted an opportunity here. Mm -hmm. 
game shot. And it's one he gratefully accepts. Should have been 3-0 down there. That's in. Treble 19. Couldn't find the second treble that would have given him a dart at double 18 for a 5-2 lead. But he does leave himself on double 16. Dave Chisnell. Double 16 for an 11 darter. And he's gone the wrong side of the marker. Dart, Dave Chisnell, such a good leg. It started with four perfect darts. It ends with two misses. Is it over? It is, and Peter Wright has won five on the spin and he's a leg away from the quarterfinals and a meeting with either Scott Williams or Johnny Clayton. There after hibernation. 43. Two visits from here. He was 2-0 down in this match, but he's got a match start for 6-2. 96. He doesn't take the chance, but he's going to get more. 42. Double five. No score. Great way to bust it. Dave Chisnell can't take the one five six to save his skin. Eighty four. And surely this is it. It is it. Game Double shot. ten Panama. makes it six legs on the spin for Peter Wright. And Christian Perez is starting to get his act together. Raymond Van Barneveld just trying to inject a bit more pace into the throw, see if that changes things. One hundred. Alarmingly low darts. A couple there from Christian Perez. Don't know what Perez's routine has been like. I don't know if he's 40. been out here in the UK since last week or whether he's flown back over. Where's he looking now? The 11 segment and the ball? He doesn't know. Double 18 it'll be then. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, nothing wrong with that at all. That is a 12 dart leg. Thirty-two. Well, Raymond Van Barneveld, he's getting worse in this leg. Started with a ton 40, then 60, then 57, now 32. One hundred. Perez is first to a finish. Barney chuntering away to himself, throwing his hands up in frustration with the demeanour of a man who's accidentally run over his own dog. Where's he looking? What's the plan? Oh, double 18 for a 150. Oh, Christian Perez with a 150 checkout. He's a leg away for the semi-finals. The top American players. Goen Price, the Welsh number one and the world number five. And now he might be about to add a five-time world champion to his list of conquests today and reach the semi-finals of a ranking event in the PDC. The first player from the Philippines, 47. so to do. Game he could come down for the 19s here. That would be the sensible play, and that's exactly why. <laughs> he somehow managed to bully his way through to the treble twenty. He didn't have a mu didn't have much room to aim for. Christian Perez is a good darts player. There's no doubt about that. I'm not really sure. His counting and his board management is up to snuff with the best in the world. But it's been too good for Raymond Van Barneveld Game today, and that is a 13 data to win it. Christian Perez from the Philippines is a semi finalist in PDC darts. Six. 
180. Another max for Peter Wright. Looking to hit back with an 11 darter of his own. 140. 140 for Dobin. He's still not even halfway down from 501 as Peter Wright looks to win the leg. Well, that's an interesting choice because that's the danger. He now finds himself on double three. There's still life in this leg. Has Peter Wright made this awkward? Game shot. Not too awkward, it turns out. 14 dart to hold the throw turned out to be a very good leg. Premier League night. Forty ninety eight. <clears throat> Couple of big finishes, but great ones. Two treble twenties and then a double that they like. But Peter Wright can't get the first bit of it right. In fact, could go a bit wrong. Sixty. Ninety-five. Nice use of the bullseye there for Dobie. Leaves single to double. But right will get two darts for the leg. Game shot. Oh, that's a really, really good check out. Toby leaves himself the 170 again. Let's say he's taken this out quite a lot over the last few months. He does leave it a lot. It's because his counting's good. It's not leaving things like 168 and 166. Manages the board very well, Chris Toby. Although that's a decision that a lot of players wouldn't make. Leaving 65 because he'll... Actually, Doby will probably go treble 11. 83. And it takes the issue of hitting the bullseye when you want the 25 out of it. Let's see what he does. Yeah, he did go that route. In the end, he'll end up on tops. Game shot. Very nicely done. Can he find the treble? He can. Great dart. Chris Doby leaves the 170 for the third time in this game. To the 11s. Yes. Oh, he might not with Doby on 170. Well, he does, and it leaves the bullseye. Oh, my God. 88. Third time's a charm. Oh, he's good. To book his place in the final with the biggest finish of the lot. Oh, Chris Doby. He has missed a match dart for a 170 finish. He's all right going for double eight. And sure. pinning it. 14 darter of his own. Final. Australia's number one will face either the European champion or the former Masters champion. Peter Wright with a ton 40. He still trails in this leg. Well, now he can move back to the treble 20, which is uncovered. 58. Doesn't leave the 170 for a fourth time in this game. Oh, Peter Wright. That could cost him. 83. It's not a bad recovery, but he is relying on Doby making an error. There haven't been many errors from Chris Doby in this game, although that deflection only leaves him 1 2 5. Snake bite. Does he go to the bull? 
He does. And it leaves a finish that doesn't require the bullseye, but it is still a massive finish. Doby. Treble 20 and tops. Double top, his second match dart. 85. And his second match dart is missed. Peter Wright, this would be astonishing. He won his quarterfinal with 114 checkout. This is just too much. 60. The last leg decider goes into a sixth visit. Doby. Double top. Double ten. And he does not miss with his final dart. Chris Doby is in the final. He holds off a valiant display from Peter Wright. Snakebite, two semi-finals in the first four players' championship events of the year. It's a decent return for a man still struggling for form. But Doby, 98.5 average, 5 180s in that, 